kind of add some information to what we talked about last week uh, on Christmas Eve. Mm -hmm. Talked about the fact that it was Kit Carson's birthday. Of course, a lot of people, especially if you go up to Taos, they know the name very well. Uh, what we did not talk about, and we do want to address uh, for uh, for some folks out there. It wasn't all great things that this man did. Uh, there were actually some very questionable things. So back in the 1850s, he was appointed the Indian agent to the Ute and Hickory Apaches uh, by the United States. Later on in his career, he did some pretty questionable things and things that you know were, were just downright wrong. Um, he, he led armies to suppress Navajo, Mescalero, Apache, uh, Kiowa, and Comanche uh, Native Americans. And he also led uh, the migration to the Bosque Redondo, which is in Fort Sumner. Um, a lot of people know it as the Long Walk. And uh, unfortunately, a lot of Native Americans lost their lives there. Uh, there is an incredible memorial there. If you go there to Fort Sumner, and in fact, we're going to be taking you there next month here on Style with our Culture Pass Challenge uh, to talk about the Long Walk and to talk about the, the atrocities that happened uh, to the Native Americans. Uh, so anyway, we just wanted to share the other side of that story with you this morning. Like we said, it was his birthday. Mm -hmm. On his birthday, we didn't we didn't share the the dark part of his past, yeah. but we wanted to make sure that we do get the entire story out there for you folks, uh, for your history and for your edification. Mm -hmm. So again, I do really encourage you uh, to stay with us on style. We're going to take you to the Bosque Redondo, but head down to Fort Sumner, mm -hmm. Billy the Kid Country. Check out the Bosque Redondo. It is an amazing memorial to the uh, to the Native Americans that lost their lives, and unfortunately, it was a, it was a very dark time in our history. Mm -hmm.